to the Stateless Codecast. It's our third video on the series contributing to Rails. In our previous videos, we have identified an issue that can be fixed in Rails, and we have installed the Rails dev box using VirtualBox and Vagrant. Now we're going to, in this video, uh, work through getting the Rails repo cloned and into your own repo or updated. I've already done this because I contributed in the past to Rails, so I'm going to update my branch and we'll work from there to get it into our VirtualBox and Vagrant environments. So I'm going to start here. Um, we look at the, the documentation about getting the stuff cloned and then in contributing to Ruby on Rails we have the section here on contributing to the Rails code. We've already done 5.1, we didn't do 5.2, so now we'll clone the Rails repository. Instead of cloning Rails Rails, I'm going to um, clone my own repo, MS Dushman Jr. Rails, and I'm going to set Rails Rails as a, uh, as a separate origin. So that's what I'm going to do now. So this is my Vagrant environment. I don't want to do it here yet. I'm going to go to a new terminal window, make this bigger. There we go. directory rails contribution and now we'll issue that clone statement so going back here paste this in add in my github username Cloning in here, we can cd rails git status, and my origin here is my my own username repo. And we're going to add an origin for Rails. So we're going to do git remote add origin Rails. Want origin? I've already got origin. So, get remote add Rails. Git fetch Rails. This will pull down the the current version of Rails into my remote tracking branch. So, if we look here. just have master and um, if I want to now get my master branch of my local repo up to date with rails repo we're going to git merge rails master and note here this is the the remote um, tracking branch that we're merging here. So we're merging Rails master into the origin master of my remote repo, of, of my local repo. So we'll put 
push here. This is pushing to my remote repository. So if we go here, it should say that we're up to date with Rails Master, branches even with Rails Master, which is what we want. So now, let's see here, I'm going to check out a new branch to do my my coding. Check out a new branch. I'll call it scaffold system gen fix. And now we can go in and do our fixes in, in our normal editor. So we'll go in here, open up Visual Studio Code. I don't need to save that test version that we had from earlier. Open up that folder, Rails Contribution. didn't CD into, so we're just in Rails here. So this is what we would have here, and you can see it's got action cable, action mailbox, all the things that we need. So uh, we're going to go into Rail Ties here and find our, our path to that generator file. So lib rails generators testing test unit scaffold templates system test deal with that later so the simplest fix to this is I'm just going to do creating my and um, commit this. I'm going to push it to my repo and then I'm going to see which tests, if any, are broken by this and fix those tests. So we're going to change all these to my. If we determine that we can actually inflect the, the indefinite article in Rails, I'll do that in a se separate video, but we're right now just doing the, the simplest fix that will solve the, the issue. So we'll commit that. Sign this. No, oh, not to actually add it. Fix system test. get commit message when we squash things at the end. So we're just going to add a, a brief message here. I'll, I'll pause it while, we, while I write this so that you don't have to sit here watch me type anymore. So I've got my commit message here. We'll, re, we'll edit it once we squash the commits at the end, but that at least gives us an idea of what we did with the commit. So
save here, sign the commit. All right, so I didn't realize I couldn't pause the, uh, the video while I was signing my commit, so I had to abort it, and now I'm uh, trying to retrieve my commit message. So I did uh, cat uh, dot git commit edit message, and I've got it here. We will redo our git commit. Still got it, and now I'm going to pause before I do the WQ so that I don't. Uh, I've got a rather loud keyboard, and I don't want to give away my uh, signing key here. So we'll pause, and we've got our commit now. So we're going to do status, and now we want to push this to our origin. So we're going to push dash u help if I spell origin correctly we've got a new branch now that will have our changes we can go into vagrant and now we'll clone my app here and run our tests. While this is cloning, we'll review the, the steps we need to perform here. Got, there we go. Back to our workflow. And now go to to Rails and bundle our gem and that will allow us to run our tests. So we'll get our git status, git branch, and we're gonna check out wanna check out our branch name here. change here.
So this does have our version of this. So we'll we'll run the um, we'll stop here for this video, and then the next video we'll pick up with running these tests on the Vagrant box and fixing anything that falls out of that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this stateless codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.